Because this tunnel presents On the Maharaja's Trail Where could it be? Julian? Where are you? Julian! When she wakes up, Cammy notices something, or rather someone, is missing from her apartment. Look, if you're trying to scare me, I'm warning you. This might be the beginning of the end for us, okay? Hi, you've reached Julian's voicemail. I can't take your call at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. You never let your battery die knowing how addicted you are to your phone. If you, if you don't pick up, I swear, I'm going to file a missing persons report. As she sits on the couch, gathering her thoughts, Camille sees a cork placed in the middle of the coffee table. Chateau Cos des Tournelles. It's a riddle? Oh, so you want to play a game? All right. Yeah, let's play. Where is this uh, chateau of yours? Okay. Let's go to Bordeaux. Le train numéro 3382 à destination de Bordeaux Saint-Jean partira en voiture. Taxi? Where to, ma'am? To Château Coste des Tournelles. You're in for a treat. It's a beautiful place. The hustle and bustle of the city quickly yields to the tranquility of the countryside and the magnificent chateau of the Medoc. Camille takes in the landscape, allowing her mind to wander, when suddenly... Are those pagodas? Must be dreaming. Just as the car turns a corner, Camille realizes it wasn't her imagination at all, for magnificent pagodas, reminiscent of the most beautiful Indian temples, tower over the estate of Costes Tournelles. Quite an unusual place indeed, one that seems to have liberated itself from traditional notions of time and place. Wow, how beautiful! It's just out of this world! See? Told you! The Maison des Tournelles Hotel is just a mile away. Should I drop you there? Um, yeah, I guess so. Hello. Hello, Miss Perrault. Welcome to La Maison des Tournelles. We were expecting you. You were expecting me? A room has been booked for you, and a bike as well. A bike? Well, that's funny. Why would I need a bike? You will be staying in our pagode room on the first floor. It has a wonderful view of the vineyard, and you can even see the chateau in the distance. Please, come with me. I will show you. After glancing out the window, Camille sees an envelope on the bed. What's this? Hello, my love. If you're reading this, it means you've found the cork. Since I know how much you enjoy riddles, I figured I'd surprise you. So get ready for your first clue. Drop me a pen so I know you're at the chateau. Hmm. Okay, drop you a pen. Check. Good. Now you have to find the Maharaja. That's it? Wait, is it for real? The Maharaja? Who does he think I am? Dora the Explorer? Camille is well aware that Julian didn't entice her all the way to Bordeaux, only to send her off to the other side of the globe. She's convinced the key to the first riddle must be close by. So, Maharaja, Maharaja. All I see are elephants, but n no Maharaja whatsoever. After an hour of investigation, the Maharaja is still nowhere to be found. To clear her mind, Camille decides to have a drink at the bar. What would you like? A glass of wine seems rather fitting. Excellent choice. Here's our wine list. What about that bottle behind you? Uh, yeah, this one, with the pagodas on it. You'll never get what it's called. Pagod de Cos, which means pagodas of Cos. <laughs> What's the deal with pagodas and elephants? I mean, they don't seem all that French. It has to do with the founder of the chateau, Louis Gaspard d'Estournel. He was so passionate about India that he set out to sell his wine there, which seemed nearly impossible at the time. Hence, the pagodas. Oh, 
fantastic. Well, you've sold me. I'll take one glass of pagodas, please. Oh, you should also check out the door of Zanzibar. It's at the entrance of the chateau, right next to the Maharaja. The Maharaja? What about your wine? Oh, all right, so that's why you rented a bike. Maybe you pick a moped next time. When she finally reaches the chateau, Kemi takes a moment to admire the door of Zanzibar, its solid wood and intricately carved motifs. She then sees a man sitting on a bench a couple of feet away. Maybe he'll be able to help her out. Sir? As she approaches the bench, she realizes that the figure at rest is not a man, but rather a statue. A small plaque reads, Louis Gaspard d'Estournel. She sits beside him. I'm a bit stumped. Are you sure the Maharaja even exists? If you're where your pin says you are, then you're sitting right next to him. It can't be. You're the Maharaja? But aren't you missing a turban? Okay, let's have a look online. Set out to ship his wine himself to remote countries, his passion for India earned him a nickname of Maharaja of saint Estephe. Ooh, classy. We're not all equal as far as nicknames go. Well, um, nice to meet you. I'd like to think of myself as uh, the Queen of La Seine. Now, the ancestor of the selfie awaits you in his cabinet, a place where curiosity is considered a virtue. Hey there, where'd you run off to? Oh, sorry, I had a date with the Maharaja. Sorry? Nah, it's a long story. I guess you had to be there. Anyway, I'd like a second glass of pagod, please. I mean, the uh, first one. You promised to taste it this time. Cross my heart. So, okay. Curiosity. Curiosity. Um, did you say cabinet of curiosities? I don't know, did I? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. What, Daft Punk is not getting back together? <laughs> no, but the cabinet of curiosities is at the chateau. You mean I have to get back on that bike? Okay, at least the scenery is well worth it. I thought we had an agreement. Yeah, yeah, but I'll be back. Am I here to solve riddles or win the Tour de France? <sighs> Filled with exotic pieces, the Cabinet of Curiosities transports Kemi to a distant land. It feels like Jaipur. Everything seems to be from a bygone era. Except for one item. A photo booth. Kemi? Yes, that's me. I was looking for you. You were? Yes. To tell you that you should consider immortalizing the moment. The ancestor of the selfie. Clever! Very smart, Julian, I'll give you that. Ah, oh, I bet I look terrible. Yeah, well, called it. What's this written on the back? Another clue? Julian, you are a genius. It takes the memory of an elephant to tell a story without a book. A story without a book. I guess I'm not looking for a library then. In your face, Sherlock. As she muses upon the elephant's incredible memory, Kemi suddenly recalls that elephants are everywhere at Coste des Tournelles. The wallpaper, the elephant-shaped hedges, even the estate's emblem. Elephants are all around, making it all the more difficult to know what to look for and where to find it. Sorry, um, is there a zoo nearby with elephants by any chance? There's one, not far from Bordeaux, but the most beautiful elephant of the Medoc can be found right here, at the chateau. Wait, you have elephants in captivity? <laughs> not at all, don't worry. I'm talking about statues. If you want to see them, they are inside the barrel cellar, where we saw the estate wines. It's a kind of library. Uh, apparently, I'm looking for a library without books. Well, how library is a library of wines? Each bottle tells a story. 
with the elephant of the estate standing watch over them to protect and preserve their memory. Oh, who wrote that? I did. It takes the memory of an elephant to tell a story without a book. Camille finally understands. Indeed, to recount the history of a wine estate, what could possibly be more relevant than the wine itself? <sighs> I've had more than my fair share of exercise for this year. When Kemi opens the door to the library, she's overwhelmed by the beauty of the high wooden shelves and their precious store of hundreds of bottles guarded by majestic statues of elephants. All well and good, but how can I be expected to find something if I don't know what it is? Oh, I recognize you from somewhere. Weren't you at the Cabinet of Curiosities before? Indeed I was. Well, is there something you want to tell me? How about you telling me something this time around? Okay, could I look at the vintages from the year... Wait, when was he born again? Oh, right, uh, the year 1994, please. We don't usually handle the bottles, but this time we can make an exception. Mm. Could I see the 1996 then? Not this one either. Well, if it's not the year we met, then I give up. One last try, perhaps. Yes, why not? Two? 2018. That's not a regular label. What's that written on it? Behind you? <gasps> Babe! <laughs> what are you doing here? Did you enjoy my surprise? Mm. But why did you do all this? I've taken you on a journey through the history of Cos d'Estournel because I want to take you on a trip with me. Really? Where? All around the world. You know, next time you might want to think about writing me a note instead of making me bike halfway around the world. Where's the fun in that? Come on, let's taste that glass of wine you keep leaving behind. You're back. And you're not alone. Would you like another glass of wine? Oh, wait. How can I know that you will really drink it this time around? Oh, this time I'm not going anywhere. I promise. <laughs> so, what shall we toast to? To journeys, my love. Now that you know the chateau down to the smallest details, you'll enjoy the wine even more. Pagode de Cosse. It's a delicacy. Very charming, with knots of ripe red berries that dazzle the palate. Its texture is velvety, like silk. Do you like it? Here's my room. Wow, how beautiful. What's that envelope on the bed? Is that you? No, I swear, I have nothing to do with it. Huh. So who left it then? Please drink responsibly.